Hey folks, just a New Hampshire update. Uh, well, remember what was happening in Wisconsin? I was saying it was going to happen everywhere. Well, House panel revamps bargaining rules, public employee contracts, lawmakers say uh, changes level the playing field, but unions criticize measure as uh, anti-labor. A uh, spokesman for several unions said yesterday House Republicans acted in the dark of night to pass any labor charges to the pending budget bill. The changes would make state and local employees at-will workers who could be fired or have pay and benefits reduced if their contracts expire without renewal. AFL-CIO President Mark uh, McKenzie said the move is an unprecedented attack on public sector workers. Republicans said the changes are meant to level the playing field between employers and employees and to help balance a challenging state budget. Our state budget needs some work. Uh, it's a huge shit sandwich and everybody's going to have to take a bite of this one. Uh, Representative Neil Kirk, uh, Republican Weir, sponsor of the measure that directly affects collective bargaining rights, said his plan is to end evergreen clauses in all public contracts after existing contracts expire. The clause, clauses continue pay plans in, uh, in a contract while a new agreement is being negotiated. A bill ending mandatory evergreen clauses in public contracts has already become law this year. Kirk said his plan adopted uh, 18 to 7 in the House uh, Finance Committee Tuesday night is designed to produce a little more leverage for state labor negotiators. While it was aimed at state workers, Kirk added that his plan puts the same power in the hands of every school board, selectmen's board, and city council in the state. If a contract expires without a new agreement in place, he said, the contract is over completely. Workers become at-will employees, and the government and state uh, management officials could change the pension plan, could change health insurance, could change salaries and wages, unilaterally, he said. Well, like I said, it's coming, and I think it's good. Uh, the Senate voted to increase the speed limit in the broads on uh, Lake Winnipesaukee from 45 to 55. Senate votes for governor, but budget line item veto power. I'm mixed on this. I don't think Johnny should have this power in his hands because, well, Johnny doesn't do what's healthy for our state. State passes two changes to business tax structure. Changes comp compensation calculation and business loss deduction formula. Not a bad idea. And the best one, New Hampshire Senate votes to eliminate auto registration surcharge. Not a house. Fee said uh, to be a big source of complaints. The Senate Wednesday voted along party lines, 19 to 5, to eliminate the $30 surcharge on auto registrations that Johnny Lynch put in because we needed it after he spent the rainy day fund and our surplus funds. Whoa. The thing I heard the most was not gay marriage or guns, but the $30 people had to pay to register their cars, said Jack Barnes, Republican uh, Raymond. Supporters said that when the surcharge was passed as part of the budget, residents were told it was temporary and would end after two years. Senator Andy Sanborn, Republican Henniker, said 
People were told this would sunset in two years. I believe we need to keep that promise. Yeah, you do. But opponents notice, uh, noted the change would mean the loss of $90 million in money to repair uh, red list bridges and state and local roads. About $30 million goes to cities and towns to help fix their bridges and roads. Senator Lou D'Alessandro, uh, Democrat Manchester, said there are currently 137 red listed bridges and 263 on the pink list. They got a red listed bridge just down the road here. I know everybody is opposed to surcharge, but we've got to do something to replace the money. Uh, I got a good idea. How about privatizing? The Senator Chuck Morris, uh, Republican Salem, called the surcharge taxation without representation. He said $60 million of the money was used to operate the Departments of Transportation and Safety. Lawmakers increased taxes and then didn't use the money for what they said they would. Morris noted the highway fund where the surcharge went has been a problem for a long time, not just this year. We do have a highway system problem we do need to address, but not in this budget. See, the highway problem is, is uh, well, we have to pay the state troopers out of our highway funds, and I feel that, well, any traffic infractions, violations, fines that they get through courts and all should go back into the fund, but instead they're turning it around and putting it into the general fund. You're just deplenishing. You're not putting anything back in. Just my thoughts. Anyways, peace out all. New Hampshire, we're taking you back.